the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, in collaboration with the Food and Agriculture Organization, has turned its attention towards the ginger subsector. A recent meeting was convened at the ICT Center in Miku to conduct a thorough evaluation of the sector, with key stakeholders, predominantly ginger farmers, engaging in a comprehensive discussion on market opportunities, the nuances of the value chain, and exploring potential solutions to address these issues. Consultant attached to the FAO, Dr. Charlene Prosser, explains that the FAO is providing technical assistance in support of the ginger value chain development through a technical cooperation project aiming to facilitate the diversification of the agriculture sector and the cultivation of high potential value chains in St. Lucia, aligning with strategic regional development goals. Applying the sustainable food uh, value chain methodology developed by FAO and using available national and local data, the ginger value chain was shown to have high potential for immediate development based on current market and supply side conditions. There's very high demand for local ginger with the potential for import substitution with an increased production base and volume. The local product is not only high quality but also price competitive, it's fresh and it's rare to find. Uh, ginger is also a highly resilient crop able to withstand droughts and would have positive economic and social impact on rural communities. Uh, there are still several challenges that remain from the supply side, such as the lack of availability and access to quality planting materials. And though the ginger value chain has been driven by interest and investment from the private sector, there is still more that can be done to enhance value chain coordination. The outcomes of the ginger value chain assessment workshop will be used to develop a tailored action plan addressing the specific needs and challenges identified by the participants. Chief Extension Officer Eloy Alexis says as with the POC subsector, concrete and substantial measures are expected to be implemented in the coming months to boost the ginger subsector and strengthen the overall agriculture sector in St. Lucia. We did a rapid assessment of the ginger subsector in St. Lucia and it revealed that we have 21.5 acres of ginger on island. Um, and an annual, um, the annual um, yield per, um, um, we produce is around 40, um, 44,000 pounds. And St. Lucia in 2002 imported somewhere in the region of 34,000 kilogram of ginger. So in essence, what we see is that St. Lucia is a net importer of ginger and a commodity that um, our farmers use to produce so well. So we at the um, Department of the Division of Extension and Advisory Services um, are on board and are willing to provide um, all our technical expertise and support to make that project a success. The collaborative efforts between the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development and the FAO are instrumental in driving positive change and ensuring the long-term sustainability of St. Lucia's agriculture industry. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.